Welcome to Abbey Park in Kilwinning. It's the quarterfinals of the Scottish Junior Cup and today the Buffs take on Camelon Juniors in what's set to be... Camelon. <laughs> an, an exciting argument. Scottish Cup tie. <laughs> <laughs> so Eddie, do you think the Buffs can do it today? I think they've got a great opportunity to do it. Uh, this is a, a time to do it because somebody, a team like Camelon's coming down and they're sitting second bottom of their league just now. Um, but that doesn't represent a Scottish Cup tie. A Scottish Cup tie is a completely different ball game. Absolutely, You've yeah. played them, I've played them, and I know what they're like. You just don't know what's going to happen. But it's home advantage, they've got the edge. Plus, yes. they've got youth in their side as well. They're a good youthful team, the Buffs. And a good forward line as well. Well, both teams will be up for it. Let's see what happens, see who comes out on top. So I'm here with manager of Cowan and Rangers, Chris Strain. Chris, welcome along again. Thanks, Rip. The quarterfinals of the Scottish Cup today, how have your preparations been going this week? Uh, very well. Um, the boys are well prepared and they're looking forward to the game. Um, it's it's one where uh, there's a lot at stake, but uh, the boys are prepared and everything's been good in the build-up. So. Brilliant. Have you got a full team available? Yeah, um, Chris McGowan's the only casualty. Chris has had a, a, a bit of a calf strain. He hurt it in a game a couple of weeks ago and he's no managed to recover in time, so it's a bit of a blow to be without Chris. But other than that, the boys are fit and ready to go. So, And welcome along, everybody. Here come the players onto the park today for this quarterfinal Scottish Cup tie here at Abbey Park and Winning. Yes, we've got five teams, Beverly, in the Scottish Cup quarterfinals, all from Ayrshire. And the Buffs are one of them. Yeah, it's an exciting competition, this Eddie. Uh, but you can be sure Camelon Juniors will be up for this tie today as well. And once again, they brought on a, a, it's a lovely gesture. This they brought on young Max Strain. I think that's Chris's son. There he is, striding off the park there. Mascot today. Looks very familiar. Looks like <laughs> you, Chris, by the way. Forty years ago. <laughs> and here we go, Camelon Juniors to kick us off in the first half. And we're away, taking the game to the Buffs right away. I think that's Grant, the player the Buffs have been warned about. Here's Agnew again. Can have a shot? It's a curler. Oh, it's just over the bar. Well, here we go, a bit of heady tennis. Up we go, and another one. Cameron controlling it. Working their way in to get across. Going nowhere. And here's Ewer picking the ball up for Cameron. He sends it forward. He's found Grant. This is Cutting Danger tight. Man. There's a Danger Man, Bev. It's, weird. Box. it's a goal! Goal for Cameron. Terrific goal. I'm sure the Buffs say, will want to see this again because the defence was sleeping and watching the ball. Here it is, slow motion. There is a tackle there, Bev, as you said. It's a last ditch attempt, Eddie, but he keeps his composure and slots the ball under the keeper. Sends the goal the wrong way, in between two players. And that's 1-0 for Camelon. The Buffs win it in the middle of the park. Trying to build up here through midfield. Yeah, you can see where they're working away to the left-hand side. Found good space there, Eddie, into Agnew. It was the man of the match the last time. Look at the way this wee man works the ball. It reminds me of Jimmy Johnston. Yeah, he's Watch got this. Oh! Feet. Look at the turn there. Cut it in, nearly. And here's Camelon still on the attack. Finds a cross into the box. He's headed away, he's picked it up. Good shot! It's off the post! I need to see that again. He managed to get it clear. He controls it well. Brings it down, hits it in the volleys. Off the post. Goalkeeper flat footed. Corner to the buffs. Set piece. Played in front post. It's a good knock on. It's a, it's a goal! Ah, it's a goal cool. for the Buffs! And it's Isaac Kerr putting it away at the back post there to equalise. Yeah, that's a terrific goal. Came at a good time as well. Let's see it again, Bev. It's a great ball played in and it's knocked on well. And Isaac just finds space there at the back post. Yeah, a bit of ping pong there, but he just blasts it in here. Look at that. Up come the pegs. It's a long clearance. Oh, that was close. Stream clears it up the pitch. That's half time, Bev. Yep, referee's whistle, Eddie. It's one each, all even at half time. Yeah, it's been an intriguing game, the first half. A bit of a ding-dong. Certainly, I think, maybe Camel and Bev, maybe edged it a bit more on the buffs. 
Well, I think it was fairly even, Eddie, and certainly a couple of good goals. Half time, one all. And it's going on Rangers to kick us off into the second half. It'll be interesting to see who can sort of take control in this half, Eddie, and get the, the all-important goal. Yeah, I certainly don't see any changes in the two teams. I think both teams are just going to go the way they played in the first half. And here's Camelon picking it up in midfield. Played forward. Here's Agnew, picked it up from a shy, fleeting crosses the ball. Oh, it's close. The buff's in there again, Beverly. Trying to go. And that's an excellent challenge here from the Camden number five. And Alison finds Kelly at the edge of the box. Shot. Oh, oh, what a goal! What a goal! What a terrific strike! Oh, my. The edge of the box, Eddie. Fantastic finish. Here it is in slow mo. Watch this. The goalkeeper, perfectly poised, ready for it, thumps it. It goes. That's like Ronaldo. That's the way he hits them. Straight up, and it dips at the last minute. Off the Thumps. bar and oh, in. Terrific goal by Camelin. And that's Kelly to put Camelin 2 1 up. And the buffs to kick off, they must be absolutely shaken by that one. The crowd's hushed, you can hear it in the background. Wonder where that goal came from. It was a terrific goal by Kelly. Yeah, uh, Camelin are, are certainly really going for it here, Eddie. It's really up to the buffs now to try and find that wee bit of spirit. Get them back into it again. And they're certainly working hard for each other and here comes Agnew again out wide. Lead inside. Oh, it's a, it's a great save by the goalkeeper. He's just tried to curl it in there here to the back post. Goalkeeper holds it well. And it's a corner for Camelin. It's an awkward one for Strain. There Clears it well. And Liam McGuinness here with the free kick. Kerr knocks it down. And Coleman... It's a goal! Goes. He's managed to get it away. Yeah, it's a goal to the buffs. Two all. That's Joe Coleman there. What a game this is turning out to be. And they've managed to equalise again. Lovely header across. Keeper brave, but... Bundles it into the net there. Yeah, gets a foot in there. Look at the joy in that guy there. Turning to his fans. Well, this game, Beverly, has just exploded. Yeah, it's a terrific cup tie, Eddie. I think the fans are enjoying it out there. Here's Cameron back up again. Is this another goal? Looking for the third goal here. Strain out. Good save by Strain. Smothers it well. Here's Cameron in the break again. Coming across the 18 yard line. Is that Grant? Here's a shot, oh, Eddie. Oh, it's a thumper. What a wow. goal. God almighty, Beverly. This game's really hotting up. Edge it's... of the box strike again, Eddie. He's cracked that. It's... Here it is again. Watch this. It just sinks. I mean, the goalkeeper was up there, but... The speed of that ball, look at that. No oh, chance. Terrific shot. That's Camelin 3-2 up. But here come the buffs again, Eddie. They're not giving up here. It's wee Jenky again out that wing, Ag causing trouble. Yeah, Agnew into the box. Crosses it. Can finish. It's a goal. It's 3 all now. They've you would, done it. Oh, you'd never believe this, Beverly. 3 all. That's what a game this is turning out to be. Here he is again, wee Jenky. Look at that. So like Jimmy Johnson running through there. One, two, three, four, five men. Lays it off. Pump into the net. Cuts it back there, Eddie, oh. and it's Cashmore who slots it home. We've got to see it again. Here it is close up beside Lane Sani's camera. Look at this. Look at the control of that wee man. Great feet. It's a good cut back. And Cashmore's there. Slots it home. What a way to get your team back in the game. That's Cameron to kick off. I mean, they must be shocked. I mean, they've been up all the time. 1-0. That's, that's, that's a cool time, Beverly. Yep. Cool time. 3 all, Eddie. What a it, terrific game. But just to say there, they must be absolutely short. They must have thought they'd won it three times in a row. 1-0 one up, 1-0, one 2-1, two 2-0, one, two 3-2, and then the Buffs pulled that one back in the last five, ten minutes there. Well, let's hear from manager of the Buffs, Chris Strain. Set out again too. Yeah, we've got a few knocks, a few bumps and yeah. bruises, and you get to this stage of the season, you know, it's about patching people up and making sure everybody's ready to go, but um, the, the thing that I'm most pleased about today is the character that the boys showed. Even, you know, we go, we go down, I think, 3-2, we asked the referee, I think there was 12 minutes to go at that point. Right. And we just pulled it on and, and, and Dean creates something out of nothing for us and um, Cashy sticks it away. And at that point, again, you think, right, we can go and win this. But the reality is they probably deserved a draw over the piece, so we need to make sure that we 
we gain a bit of knowledge for them. Um, it's always yeah. it's always a wee bit difficult going into the unknown, sure. you know. Yeah, but yeah. we spoke about not allowing their striker space. I think the boy uh, that played up front for them, Grant, uh, number ten. We've spoke about how he's right foot dominant and he comes inside off the, the right hand side for a throw in mm -hmm. and we allow him to come across the edge of the box and he smashes one into the top corner which you, you can't legislate for in that regard but we can stop him getting on his right foot and that's the, the disappointing thing but for me now both teams have showed their hand and I think you're in for a ding dong next week up at Camel. Absolutely, as you say you showed the tenacity to come back time and time again today so just be a case of more of the same but obviously try and keep a clean sheet this time. Aye, we could have better quality and we yeah. can defend better, there's no doubt about that. And sometimes the magnitude of the occasion gets to buy boys and, and yeah. they make wrong decisions and that's the thing that I was saying to them today is try and keep your head when all around you is a wee bit chaotic and I don't think we've made the rest the best decision making at times. I think we yeah. could have made better passes and, and stretched the game a bit more. We try to go direct and sometimes it's the fear of losing a goal that actually makes you lose a goal because yeah. you're not doing the right things and uh -huh. you're, you're rushing things. But, I mean... Their second goal comes from, we, we get a block shot in the box, we look as if we're going to score, and our defenders have actually switched off, ball gets cleared, their boy runs 30 yards, lays it off to somebody and he strikes it in off the crossbar, and for their point of view it's a great goal, but for their point of view I'm thinking, you know, what are we doing, we're not organised, we're not talking to each other, yeah. and that's where yeah. we need to be tuned in and you need to just have that mental fortitude to make sure that you demand things off your teammates. Absolutely, and go that next. So, a hard fought match here at Cowan and Rangers today, Eddie, 3-3 it finished in the end. Um, Camelon came here with intention to really go for it, I think. Oh, uh, six goal thriller. I mean, a great game for the fans. Yeah. Although it's no great when you don't win, but the thing is they didn't lose, that's the main thing. Mm -hmm. They came back, Camelon were up all the time, 1-0, one, 1-1 nil, one each, 2-1, two, 3-2, and then the Buffs come back in again. Yeah, I, I think, thought they were going to stall yeah. it in the last couple of minutes, in fact. I don't, it could have gone either way. I think they showed great fighting spirit, really, to keep coming back, oh, as you say. Yeah. I think it's a great advert for junior football. Yeah. It's absolutely unbelievable to see a young team like the Buffs, a, 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 a so-called underdogs, you want to put it that way, coming in there, playing the Camelins of this world, yeah. who are a good team. Not a great team, but a good team. It's solid. The two boys up front, deadly. I mean, I mean they, they shots at their goals there. I mean, as you heard Chris saying there earlier on there, you can't legislate for any of them. The poor goalie was left looking and the second goal was just a thumper. Yeah, I mean, there was great effort and commitment from both teams, I think, today, yeah. but I think certainly Chris Strain will be happy with the way the players stuck together and had the fighting spirit to come back. Yeah. And they're still in it. Go away to Camelon Juniors next week. Well, I think um, it's a different ball game. I mean, the Buffs have got the measure of them now. So it's calmly at the measure of the buffs. Yeah. And to go up there to play in a, in a Scottish Cup tie, young boys, getting a feel for it. I mean, that buzz the day walking out in that crowd there. I mean, half a <laughs> Colwyn was out there, I think, you know, <laughs> to follow this game. And the buzz is there, that's it, they're joining that buzz. Great experience. I'd love to see the buffs get through, but yeah, empty Camelon, but I think it'd be a great, one of these fairy, fairy stories. Yeah, yeah. For well, the junior game. All will be told next week, something to look forward to and join us again for more highlights from Fitba Shorts. And I just want to say before you cut, uh, the crew, the volunteers that come here to help out. I mean, today uh, we had young Jay, work experience, young Connor coming along as well for his first first match. We've got sideline Sani Ian, we've got Bev, myself, and Barry Paulings is no well today, and Ben's away enjoying his birthday with his girlfriend. Um, <laughs> We did a great job, and that's one of the things as well for us. We came along here, filmed the game, and you guys, I can't thank you enough. Well done. Join us next time. Thanks for watching.